our maiden is dead, but no worries because there's plenty to choose from no matter your preferences. So let's explore the various wafers in Elden Ring and rank them because god damn it somebody has to do it. Also subscribe as I near 1k subscribers. But let me give it to you bite-sized. Melina. The first waifu we come across and she pretty much hits the mark right away. Cute, soothing voice gives us a horse and helps us grow big and strong. A tear. Same could be said for Rani. Gives us wolves and a super cool sword after we marry her. Although I'm not sure about those doll feet. And as a booty man, she's looking kind of skinny, but... A tear. These abductor virgins have female faces, so I'm including them. Face is decent. They're also tall, so that's a bonus. Feet are basic, and I'm not sure about these sharp wheels, but those hips don't lie, and their pink insides will drive any man insane. E tier. Anisha the Tarnished Eater looks like an extra from Michael Jackson's thriller, and she invades us three times throughout the game. So I'll give her credit for determination, but she's not bringing anything special to the table. C tier. The Black Knife Assassins could break my back in half. Look at their tall, slender figure. Awesome weapon and responsible for sparking an entire war. But they are invisible, so this could be a catfish, but... A tear. The demi-human queen is known as a queen, not a king, so I'm including her. And Lord have mercy, look at those pearly whites. Any My Little Pony fans subscribed? Those feet look like they belong to some alien and that booty has seen better days, so... A tear. Renella could use me as a chair for sure. Chad jawline. Beautiful face. Feet are decent. Built like a skinny Amazonian. A tear. Good lord, she looks like a crack fiend grandmother. And sure, she knows how to break down some moves. But with a face like that, the floor will cave in. D tier. Eleonora isn't anything special, to be honest. Cool dragon abilities and awesome weapon. But her drip leaves much to be desired. And she already has Yura simping for her, so... D tier. Tanith is a stern mistress who sends us to commit highly illegal assassinations on innocent tarnished and pays us with some cool weapons. Nice eyes, and might have been a dancer so you know she's in shape. But that mask is kinda dodgy and she's married to a snake man so... C tier. The Noxtella sword stress loves to whip people so if you're into that sort of thing then this is your girl. But with a face only a mother could love and purple skin. I'll throw her into C tier. The shamans are thicker than a snicker and giant as well. But I'm not sure if I'd want to live in a forest worshipping a magical dead deer guarded by elite snipers, so... B tier. Enya has fallen from her glory days, but she gives us a free talisman pouch, so... I mean, we need talisman pouches, so... C tier. The twin maiden husk. Two Enyas for the price of one, but no talisman pouch, so... B tier. Apparently, Lanciax was a priestess of a dragon cult, so she gets included and she is one of the cooler bosses in the game. Ruined by the fact that she's a clone of several in Faramazula, and I haven't seen her human form, so... C tier. Ensha is a quiet woman, which some married men might rate highly on their list. But that bulge in her pants has me questioning her true identity. But she's also kinda a baddie, so... B tier. Fia is a popular waifu amongst the community with free hugs, very pretty feet, and a fully modelled crotch which I can't show for fear of YouTube smiting me down. But she's got several simps guarding her and she causes death blight, so... B tier. The large albinoric woman could dive from a table into my ribcage. Just take the A tier. This is the albinoric woman Sir Gideon Ovnir wanted you to find and now I understand why. Raya. Raya. I'm not sure I can legally answer this one. But my Japanese friend gives her a B tier for cuteness and the fact she's part reptile with a few points knocked off for having the posture of an office secretary. Irina is also Hayeta, so I'll just do two in one and she's actually a decent choice. Blind, so she won't see how ugly we are. Great figure and helps us burn the world down, so... A tear. Latena is the large albinoric woman, but smaller can actually talk and comes with a free dire wolf so I'll put her in B tier because size does matter and she has no legs. Loretta, hips to die for and rides a horse for a living, but not sure what else she's got going on so I'll just put her in B tier to be safe. Selen is a brilliant teacher and ally who we unlock secrets with. She even gives us her very soul to return to her real body that was locked in an old man's sex dungeon. But she eventually turns into a ball but... A tear. Roderica is a 10-10 in England and absolutely not a craven. 
She can upgrade your spirit slaves and cares for the elderly, so a tear. So the octopus drops its ovaries when killed, so I'll assume it's a female. And I've watched enough hentai to know that this is an A-tier waifu. Millennia is a straight A-tier. Putting the Scarlet Rod aside, she's got it all. Badass weapon. Badass design. Badass feet. Badass. Maria is a weird one as she just stands outside her castle attacking anyone who ventures close, so I assume she's crazy. She has a cool weapon but wears this strange mask, so C-tier. Marika is a straight A-tier waifu. She's crucified so all the Jesus fans can join the fun. She's got hips, long hair, and of course a booty good enough to make Godfrey return once more. Millicent is a warrior woman with long red hair, relative of Millennia, and helps us fight bosses. But she dies from the Cuties, and is an inferior version of the Swordswoman, so B tier. Four Millicents with four different weapons for the price of one? I'll plop them in a tier. Nephili is the real warrior woman with rock-hard abs. One of the best weapons in the game and a chocolate queen with chocolate toes. A tear. And lastly, the giant Miranda Sprout is a flower with a female name, so for all you vegans and vegetarians out there, I got you, don't worry. D tier. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below, and of course, subscribe. This is BOC, and I hope you enjoyed.